Hi, let's talk about the right mindset to be an entrepreneur. And probably one of the things that you've heard about and you've been indoctrinated with, so to speak, is this myth of never give up. And us entrepreneurs starting out, we often hear this, that a mix of follow your passion plus never give up is the secret formula to success. And we believe this because we see it everywhere. It's replicated in every piece of cultural media out there. And we believe that every successful entrepreneur has that mix of following their passion and never giving up. And what I want to share with you now is that belief is perhaps one of the strongest beliefs that hold us back in business. That we believe that simply having something we're passionate about and being so pig-headed that we never give up and we never quit that we will follow through and be successful. Because we hear it all the time. Quitters never win, winners never quit. And if you quit, it's almost like you're a failure in yourself, right? There's a bit of a macho attitude towards business there. But what I wanna share with you today is that actually winners quit, winners quit all the time. It's losers that aren't able to quit. Losers aren't able to quit because they're too scared of what other people might think of them. So let's talk about this whole idea of never give up. Now, I understand what to never give up means. I did an Ironman triathlon. And if you're new to Ironman triathlon, let me just tell you what it is. It's a, a 4K swim, 180K bike, and a marathon. Right? You can't go into that race with the attitude of, never, of giving up easily. Right? You can't go into that race thinking, you know, I might just sit down here or I might just stop and you know, have some food at the feed station, right? You can't do that. You've got to do the Ironman triathlon. You've got to do it with the attitude of never give up, right? So yes, I have that attitude, but I have that attitude when it comes to sport, when it comes to hobbies, because there's a big difference between Ironman triathlon and business. And there is a big difference, but the media kind of blurs that because we kind of get all these analogies of sport applied to business, about teamwork, being a team player, having a goal. You know, all that kind of makes sense, but then there's this thing about never giving up. You know, every successful sports champion or team never gave up, and that is very true. They stuck it out to the last minute, and that last minute may have been the minute where they got the goal or they shoot the hoop or whatever. So yes, it works in sport, but to be a successful entrepreneur, you've got to understand that's where it ends. When it comes to becoming a successful entrepreneur, you've got to be able to give up when you need to give up. So let me just share with you what that successful mindset is. You see, the thing about all these stories of successful people who worked hard and never gave up is this thing called survivor bias. Let me explain what that means is that for every one story you hear about a Mark Zuckerberg who worked really hard and was passionate about what they did, there are 10,000, maybe 100,000 or a million stories of people who did exactly the same and failed. But the media doesn't talk about them. Who wants to know about the guy who was passionate about his business and worked really hard and all hours that he had available to him and failed in the first year? Nobody wants to know about that story, right? But that's the problem is that this survivor bias shows us an image of what entrepreneurs are, but it doesn't show us the image of what happens behind the scenes. And the reason why people are successful, and this is what I want to teach you in this course, is not because they were passionate and they never give up. And that is an easy route to follow and one of the biggest mistakes that entrepreneurs can make, thinking that is just the only thing that you need to be successful. And so many people do that and end up unsuccessful and they wonder why. The key to being successful is to being able to test and to validate. And what I mean by that is to get into the game fast, to launch fast, to know what your customers want fast, to launch cheaply and to get to the market cheaply. So to validate and test your ideas and your business is key because every successful entrepreneur out there has at some point gone through this process and this is what I want to teach you in this course. Sure, you need to be passionate and you need to not give up, never give up. These make sense, but that 
isn't the formula. That just gets you started. That gets you into the game. Winning the game is understanding how to test and how to validate your ideas and your products. So let's go on. That's what we're going to learn next in this course.